Hey guys, oh. welcome back to the Joy of Resin after a very long hiatus. It's been like two weeks since I made anything. I feel really, well, I'm feeling a little backed up. Um, let's see here. We have some new molds to work with. I'm making some new bullet dice. I'm testing out my new mold for the French cleats because the old mold is crap and needs to be thrown away. Now it's been thrown away. Uh, and then I'm making something special. Uh, so, as always, let us start. Like, let me start by showing you the colors I'm working with. I have a nice little clear blue with some uh, glitter in it. I have just clear with some Christmas glitter in it. And I have black mica with some silver micro glitter in it. Uh, okay, so starting with the bullet dice so that they can uh, take a moment to breathe. I'm going to do... Don't fight me. Uh, I need to stir this up a little bit because the glitter has all sunk. Okay, God damn it. All right, so I'm gonna fill these about halfway with the blue. Possibly a little less than halfway. Who knows? Maybe a little more. Oop. Okay, all right, now I have these cute teeny tiny little uh, skulls that I'm gonna put in the bullet tips. Or just drop, I might just drop them, who knows. Move that aside so I don't accidentally knock it over. Okay, now top these up with the black. You know, I'm gonna bring the blue up a little bit higher. I don't want the black to overwhelm. You know, with this kind of precise muscle control, I'm sure I would be great at making drugs. Watch out, Samuel L. Jackson and Walter White. Competition is coming your way. This is getting set aside. Chill on the heat to release some bubbles. Okay, let's do the caps. I mean the uh, the dice holder. Uh, okay, so blue first. Backing. And
So I'm kind of trying to go with like a haunted glacier, haunted ocean theme here, something like that. <clears throat> uh, nope. Okay, come here, you. Okay, all right. So let's move on to the bigger project. We have this brand new mold to work with. Um, two different moths. We have the lunar moth and I believe that's a death's head moth. Uh, and as you can see, I have spent quite a bit of time painting these with mica powder. Boy, was that over a pain in my ass. I really should have sprayed this. Oh, okay. Uh, I have these little uh, mirrors that I just got off Timu, and they fit perfectly in these holes, which brings joy. However, I want to make sure that those stay see-through, just in case any of the resin bleeds underneath. So, cover those with this clear blue. <clears throat> and then we'll just do black for the rest. Yep, definitely should have sprayed this first. That's okay, this thing has so many uh, indentations and rough spots anyways, nobody was ever gonna be able to run their hand over it and have it feel, come out shiny. Uh, sorry, smooth. All right, so this one I'm going to spray. <clears throat> uh, all right, what do I plan to do here? All right, so. Going to go on the outer edge with the blue. Now this one has interference powder, not uh, mica powder. So I need to get that black pretty much everywhere. I just wanted to have that nice soft blue edge around, well, around the edge. Uh, okay. All right, this one I think could use a little bit more. Okay, that should do me. 
<coughs> doomy, 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 doomy. Okay. I think that was a combination of the Doom song from Invader Zim and Ruby, Ruby, Ruby by whoever the fuck that sang that song. Oh boy. Careful. Nope, don't spill. Okay. Didn't spill. Alright. Next up. That was dumb. Should have wiped these out and then sprayed them. So this is the homemade mold for my French cleats. Uh, this one is brand new. After going all the way back to the drawing board with the French cleats and filing a new piece down to fucking oblivion. So uh, pretty sure no matter what, these aren't going to be 100% shiny. Uh, because the surface of the piece itself was still a little bit matte. And that is after going all the way down to 10,000 grit on the sandpaper. But I'm hoping they will at least be cool looking or good looking or something. Okay, heat you go. All right, next up, we have an ornament, and we have Christmas Darth Vader Punk Funko Pop. Because I got myself a Funko Pop advent calendar for Star Wars for like 10 bucks, because it's June. And so, and now I have all these little Christmassy Funko Pops, and I'm going to see if I can make a little Christmas ornaments out of them. Because, I mean, it's not like I'm going to play with them. And there's far too many to just sit around. There are, in fact, 24 of them. Right, so a little layer. And then... Darth has a nice big flat head, so I can just sit him down in there. And then we fill. Ta-da. Hopefully that will not be too much glitter. And we'll still be able to see old Darth when we're done. All right, let me finish up these dice. Okay, so. Oop, <laughs> wrong one. Backing on the lid of the mold. Give it a little scrape to release some bubbles. Spritz. And we squish. <clears throat> 
Ack. Okay. Um, okay. Way down. Aren't we all? Another dandelion prepared. Pour slowly. stem is the perfect height to hold the dandelion in place. Let the resin fill up around it. Normally I would have used clear to do that, to put the uh, dandelion in, but the clear that I've got has way too much glitter and it would have just completely uh, occluded the dandelion, so that's why I went with the blue first. Look at all that glitter on the bottom. Why you gotta be like that? Okay, I'll leave that and then I'll add another layer to that on uh, my next pour. Don't. All right, where are my, probably over here, no, 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 big no. Okay, probably not over there. Okay. No idea if this will fill this these pieces up, but maybe.
Where is my scraper? Right behind me. <clears throat> I need something to scrape this off into so I don't just make a mess. Has anybody seen Stargate Universe? Because if so, does that shape look familiar? Still have some leftovers. So what's next? Do I have any other new molds I can start with? Or should I go to something else entirely? How about a turtle? by the heat on this uh, cup of resin, I'd say I'm just about out of time. So it's a good thing this is it. That's it. All done. All right. So thank you guys for joining me. I know it has been a minute since I made a post or a new video. Uh, I appreciate your patience and understanding. And I hope to see you again real soon. <coughs> Take care, guys.